Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing house mods. I keep my coats downstairs. We don't have a coat closet or shoe rack or anything. So I end up hanging them on the broom hanger in the stairwell. So off to the right of the stairs, I have these hanger bars, closet bars, just for length testing. So what I did is I actually went to Walmart and I bought the nine cubicle 12 by 12 shelving. Basically what that's gonna be for, so what that's gonna be for, I'm gonna keep my shoes in the stairwell just outside the kitchen instead of putting them here. Not that they always look like that, but God, they always kind of look like that. I would just like to start this video off and tell you I'm not a carpenter. Do not copy what I do. I just want to share what I'm trying to do here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this area more usable. So making pretty quick work, what I did was I brought the lightweight jack down from the garage and a broken 2x4 that I usually use to put the Z on the trailer with. And we have the cubicle in place, which is pretty sweet. Um, over behind the box is actually kind of not in the most useful position. So maybe down the road we'll cut that one off. Um, recently I installed the shelf down here for holiday storage bins. That could work. You just pull this one out before that one, but maybe we'll just... Maybe we'll just have to cut that one. I don't know. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to actually get a level. I'm going to level out these. And I think I actually have to... The natural gas that goes up to the stove is actually lower than the floorboards. So what I'm going to do is probably mark out on the shelving where the natural gas line is. And then just notch it for the gas line. Because it's a cheap walmart shelf so might as well make it fit right and not disconnect the gas line so a quick update here i mentioned we might actually notch the shoe rack and not move the gas line i came up with another solution i found this board in the garage i cut it in half basically it makes a gap right where the gas line is and uh leaves me with a flat surface to mount to i could have notched that but i used my christmas tree saw because not a carpenter. I'm hot and sweaty. However, we got we got the shelves mounted up. There are two screws per cubicle. It is flush with the board we added. And it is flush with that post. So now I'm going to put some screws into this beam to hold it this way. And then it's still just flimsy particle board, so I'm going to actually build some legs for it to hold up the bottom of it. And I'll show you that in a minute. So I got all screws in. They're three inches from the edge. Um, this, one, this one is the only one that kind of missed. Um, the rest of them, the rest of them were all set. I wanted to keep it uniform because even though they're not the prettiest things in the world, at least they're in a straight line. So that concludes part one of this project. Basically, just a shoe rack in the stairwell. Um, three of which aren't really usable. That one, that one, and that one. But now we gotta go to the second part of this project. So like I mentioned, this is just a flimsy particle board. It's from Walmart. It was like $43. Um, if I let all of the weight hang down, this is going to sag. And then once it sags, the center shelves will fall out, and then the next ones will sag. And So I'm going to make a quick... I should be able to... I should be able to remove that safely and have the shelf stay. Now it's fairly sturdy. Just a little bit of wiggle here. I could probably do a small piece of wood in this section and send her right through. But I did find one 2x4 out in the garage. I'm going to bring it down here. I'm going to measure some stuff. I'm going to screw some stuff. And uh, we're going to make a little leg for this. So we don't have to worry about it sagging. So, per usual, I'm using what I have at my disposal. 
which is three lag bolts, two Phillips head, and two square heads. I found them in the garage. I'm going to make most of the legs are going to be supported by gravity. So we shouldn't have to use a lot of hardware. We just obviously don't want it falling over. So I'm going to take some measurements and uh, cut some stuff up. Because I'm a man. So I've got the bottom board attached loosely. It was already starting to warp a little bit, or the board is warped. I think the actual bottom of the thing is warped. Like I said, it's kind of flimsy. So, um, next plan of action here. And we do a leg from the bottom of that to the floor. And then in kind of like a triangle motion, I'm going to build a little block right here on the end at an angle. And then the board is going to butt up against it and basically just push pressure onto it. I don't know how structural that is. Obviously, you don't see um, that in everyday construction. However, it's not structural. I'm not a contractor. Just recorded the corner for two minutes. That's the angle that's going to be at. Now I just need to... So I just jacked this end up, I scooted that as far forward as I could, and then I put this little stopper block in there. So technically most of the weight should be on that board. Um, what I'm going to do is actually beef up the, the joint right here, and then all of the weight should be supported by the boards, not necessarily by the structure of the shelves. So, also just noticed... That's the original screw line. And it's a tad more off than I had originally thought. So I re-leveled it, and it's slightly tipped back, which is better. I like that better. So now the screw holes all line up. We're in a good spot. Um, I just got to secure the bottom board a little bit more, and we're good. So guys, here is the finished product. A couple of my shoes on there. It's tall enough to hold boots. That's something I've wanted to do for a while. I still have a plan to put some kind of finished looking, so like this white finished look um, over here and do a little coat rack. This bar, the bar in there is a curtain rod from when we moved into the house. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get some coat hangers. We're going to hang our jackets on that just for the time being, see how they look.
So because this is temporary, I actually screwed in a piece of stir stick from a paint um, set. Basically, this is just a spring and it's stuck in there, so I didn't want it to slide down. Once there are coats on it. So let me go get some jackets. So here's the final product. We've got the shoe rack here. As you can see, if I want to keep my shoes the boxes on the bottom below an extra pair of shoes, I certainly can. It's not like the most shoe storage in the world, but at least it gets it out of the kitchen and they're not too far from the from the kitchen door where we usually leave them. My coat rack. My coat rack is improvised. I don't like that it necessarily sticks out when you're going down the stairs. So as you're coming down. I wish it was back another six or eight inches, but um, I do want to make it look more finished, so we'll do that in a in a future video. But guys, I'm in love with this idea. This was such a useless space when we moved into the house. There's literally just space between a wall under the kitchen and the steps. This cubby is still kind of weird. Maybe we'll still cut it in the future. It's really not in the way. But, I don't know, we'll see what happens. My goal with this channel is, is basically just to film everything I do around the house and stuff that I was going to do anyway, and, and hope that some people like it. So, let me know what you guys think about this project. If you like it, give my video a thumbs up. Super helpful. Last I checked, we were up to 58 subscribers, which is a whopping 20 more than I've had the last 10 years. So, there's one last look for you guys. If you've done anything like this in your house, let me know. Maybe I could try to work something in like that. But overall, I think a couple little finishing panels. And we've got ourselves a super usable stairwell now. So have a good one, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content, and I'll catch you later.